Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Mike. Today, we got Quincy, Carrie, and Jeremy here with the Metatox podcast. Today, we're going to talk. Uh, we're going to be talking about coronavirus update, Kim Kardashian, Ezra Miller, some Animal Crossing. Um, we got some delays coming up, and I, actually, I want to talk about this new app that just came out. I don't know if you guys heard about it. It's called Quibi. It just came I've out. Seen the commercials. The commercial yeah. So definitely, I want to talk about it today. Hey, let's talk about um, the updates with the coronavirus. So I was reading an article today, and it says that the USA has passed ten thousand deaths. Dang. As far as confirmed coronavirus, like that's, that's a lot of people. That's crazy. And they yeah. said the Surgeon General uh, had mentioned, I guess, this past weekend that this is going to be the hardest week for America. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, like reading it is like, OK, I'm reading it and it shows me a number. But just to just the thought of like 10,000 real people, I know. you know, that's a lot of people. It's like it's crazy. That's so many people. Well, I mean, they were predicting as much as 450,000, I think. And then, oh, well, I think that was kind of like like the middle ground or something like that. They were saying upwards of 2 million. But I don't know. That sounds like a lot of people. To me. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching this one girl that I stumbled upon. Um, apparently, she decided to fly up to Korea to spend time with her parents during this whole thing. And she didn't know what was going on with Korea, like how they're handling the whole yeah. coronavirus. And just watching her TikTok made me think like, maybe I should move to Korea because they're probably going to give me, they're probably, hand, they're handling it way better than the U.S. is. Oh, yeah. It's like you fly to Korea. There's literally someone waiting for you when, on arrival and they're checking your temperature and you're staying with them. They take you to this other place, then you get tested for it, and then they put you up in a hotel room. They oh. give you free food. Everything is free. Sounds good to me. And you have to wait there till you know a couple of days till you get the results if you have it or not. I don't oh. see that in the U.S. Nothing even close. Nothing. I mean, what? you hear it. This is what they're doing in China. This is what they're doing in Korea. This is what they're doing in Vietnam. But then you don't hear anything like that in in the U.S. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, like here in Hawaii, right? They're thinking about releasing um, uh, non-threatening criminals in, mm -hmm. back into the public sector because all these people are on parole and they're trying to just prevent coronavirus in the prisons. So they're releasing well, I was reading an early. article and they said legally you cannot quarantine somebody in jail. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, that kind of makes sense. I mean. I mean, I guess they still have rights, even in, even in jail. You know well, I, mean? I guess they have like human rights, right? Not citizen rights, but it's more like a humanitarian yeah. right. Right, yeah, like health, health, access to health. Well, I mean, the cost you six nine is out, so I mean, that must say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just had to let him out. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I, I mean, mean, no, no, go ahead. No, I mean, it just shows, like, right now, it's like. Uh, we're just trying to do whatever we can to survive, right? Like, they don't want the mm -hmm. coronavirus vi virus to outbreak in prisons. That would be terrible. You know what I mean? But, I mean, going on what you just said right now, are we really doing all that we can? Because we're still allowing people to travel around. Yeah. I like, I, well, okay, I mean, that's how what... you have designated people testing when you get to the airport? And what Carrie was saying is they put you in a hotel and they test you. But why is everybody traveling regardless? I thought we're supposed to be staying home where we're at. Why is everyone still moving around? You know, you still have stupid people that are like, "Oh my God, it's so cheap! I'm gonna go fly there." Right. People like you just have you just people have people. You'll always have people that don't really care. Yeah. And like the ones that you see, it's like all these college students because you know right right now it's spring break, right? Right. So they're looking at cheap flights. They don't care. They're gonna go to like Mexico and party it up. And the hard thing is the news is portraying them as not being kind of one of those uh, demographics that can mm -hmm. like easily, well, die from it, I suppose, right? And then what, it, what also gets me angry, it's like you see all these people being racist to Asian Americans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not just Chinese. It's any Asian race. Yeah. It's like we didn't bring it. We're not the ones. We're not the ones being stupid and traveling yeah. places. 
yeah. and not caring about the whole situation? Why are you being a racist against the whole Asian American community? It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I think they just want somebody to blame. Yeah. You know? And it's stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. One, it doesn't help that Trump blatantly says it, that it's the China virus. You know, that doesn't help in the media. Well, we already know our president's racist, so. <laughs> we knew that before we elected him. Yeah, it's exactly. Deal. But I mean, for the, all this to stop, I mean, do you guys feel like we need to just completely, like, just shut down everything? That's what Bill yeah. The more that we allow people, I mean, it ain't going to get better, you know? Yeah, is there a point in time where we just yeah, gotta so, like no you cannot travel no more like all like just shut down all the airports like yeah, nothing yeah. done shut down the airports and shut down cruise ships yeah oh yeah. definitely cruise ships oh my god they're Those like the harbors of, they are oh, literal the petri dishes i think there's a new one that i saw like the other day <laughs> Just floating yeah. around, saying hi. Yeah, no, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching this uh, episode of from Hasan Minhaj's uh, show, uh, Patriot Act, and he was talking about cruise ships, about being like petri dishes of all sorts of diseases. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely. Do you guys think that you know here in Hawaii? I read over the weekend too that we just activated our national guard as far as like them helping yeah. in the airports. I mean, guard. do you guys feel like that is even going to make a difference at all? Well, they're just doing, they're just testing, um, transferring supplies and uh, testing people at airports. That's it. Like, they're not doing, like, in, anything to enforce, like, any laws or they're not trying to, like, barricade places or well, anything I don't, like that. I don't know if you heard, like, because um, you know how it was our mayor and then I guess some other people, they wanted to, I guess, go up to President Trump for flights for all the airlines to just stop their travel to Hawaii. Right. But apparently, I believe it was this Friday, this past Friday, Ige, he didn't want to do that because he felt like he doesn't want the airlines to discriminate people flying to Hawaii. What does that mean? Yeah, That's what basically that mean? what he said in the news. And it just, it just goes to show you what type of governor he is for our state. Hmm. Well, a lot of it people doesn't really already, care. You know, feel questionable about some of his yeah. decisions that he made. So, I mean, I feel like they should just stop travel all in general, at least just mm -hmm. for temporary, just for until like our numbers start going down at least, because yeah. it just keeps rising. Right. Like obviously, we're doing something wrong, you know. Yeah, and, uh, and we're doing <laughs> yeah, we're worse not than the other enough. countries. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're doing something no. worse than the other countries because yeah, let, let's just all fly to South Korea. <laughs> I was like, oh, I need to, I need to. It's like I need to get tested. Uh, should I pay three thousand dollars in in the United States or just fly to? I Korea? know, right? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. It is, and you know, and just with this whole epidemic thing, you know, it's like, and it sucks because a lot of stuff is being delayed too. Mm -hmm. You know, for people that don't know, I'm sure everybody knows by now, but EDC yeah. uh, postponed till. Uh, October. 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 Yeah. 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 Well, Olympics two thousand twenty-one. Oh. Yeah. Olympics twenty. I was, I was yeah. really worried, honestly, being here yeah, in Vegas. Was... Like, are they still gonna host EDC here? Like, I know that's like one of the ones that held held out for a while. To yeah. yeah. It. I mean, Vegas it isn't really doing well either. We have like over a thousand cases. I think it must be hard for them because it's like as soon as you say something, especially when it comes to an event, it's like. Mm -hmm. You probably people are gonna be asking for refunds. People are gonna be asking oh, for yeah. all types yeah. of things. Where as an event company, you know, any event company, right? It's yeah. like you kind of like bank on kind of like all those pre-sales, and then of course whatever sales you get on the day of or the week of is like like to tide you over to pay for whatever expenses on the day. But like that's yeah. something that you know, like if it's not flowing. You take you take on a lot of expenses, so especially for something on that big of a scale, you know. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Talk about millions commitment. and millions of dollars. Yeah, and I'm yeah. pretty sure a lot of people are like, "Oh well, you know, like for venues, they're like, oh well, we're not going to give you your, your deposit back." Like, I mean, even in this case, but I think some events, um, I mean, event insurance wise, like, I think you can actually get like some of it back if it's act of God or something like that. Mm. I read somewhere, but. Well, it's nice to see, like, even some companies are at least, like, trying to help people out knowing that, um, you know, there is no refunds, you know. Like, I was reading an article about, like, Disneyland parks and Disney World parks saying that they yeah. will um, accommodate the 
season pass holders because they know that Disneyland and Disney World um, is closed. So yeah. it's nice to see at least some people are doing that. I know uh, my friend uh, here in Hawaii, he has 24-hour fitness, and they said that they're still charging him, even though it's closed. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They, Everyone is pissed. Like, how can yeah. you do People. They said, like, if it goes past April 15th, which it will, then they'll, like, waive the monthly fee for, like, that Even one Even then, month it's like, we've, yeah. we've been this quarantine for how long already? It's like, yeah. I know. I know. I have 24 Fitness membership, and I'm being like, charged. 24 hours. I can't even use the facility. <laughs> yeah, it's like, how, how can you do that to people? Like, yeah. just, all this is, like, it's crazy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, life is definitely on pause. I know. So and even, it some, yeah. makes me think like what's gonna happen this year because they yeah. said that the whole virus thing it might you know trickle down during the summertime mm-hmm. and then we might get another the second wave, wave. They call uh, the, it the second, second wave, wave like august september yeah. yeah it's like just take 2020 already we'll restart 2020 i know this year what what would that involve like if you could be like hey Hey guys, okay. Well, 2020 was a, a pretty crappy year. Like, let's let's uh let's just reset the calendar and read. I know this has been far the crappiest year ever. I wish I had the power to like kind of like see what is this like what is this year gonna be like? (laughs) Yeah, I I just want to see what's gonna happen all the way to December 31st. That's it. The year of streaming, streaming everything. I know everybody. Um, you know everyone. I know, like this Zoom. past weekend, I'm just seeing all these live streams of like DJs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're all doing like yeah. yeah, and I see like everyone's Instagram stories or Snapchats about those live streams of DJs everywhere. Yeah, so it's like I'm rewatching it over like, and over and over. Even Me classes, too. I see people doing like Zumba classes. Yeah. My yeah. uncle in the mainland has like a dojo, so he's been doing his karate classes over mm-hmm. Zoom and everything. Does he yeah. charge like, it? Does like, he still charge them? Or yeah, like, how does yeah. that work? Oh, so okay. because you need the because you need the, code. the conference number and password. So what he does yeah. is you pay for each session because each conference is a session. And yeah. for you to join, you just pay, I guess, I don't know, through like PayPal or whatever he does. Yeah, yeah. And then you yeah. can and then he'll send you the code and then you can do the session with him. That's yeah. cool, actually. Yeah. Even even Discord is like reaching out to help um, set up group events or uh, servers. Yeah, for like dance classes, book clubs, uh, even digital conventions. Yeah, I was talking to my friend I think yesterday morning, and we were kind of talking about the whole situation. It's like, it's it's crazy to think that you know, like, like the world, right, is putting in all their resources to kind of beat this thing. And I mean, yeah. I would say on the scoreboard we're kind of losing. Um, but it's like it's like everything, you know, like all the smartest people, everybody's on it you know, to try to beat this uh, pandemic. And it's like, it's still taking a long time. You know what I mean? Like, you can only imagine, like, if we had to, like, you know, fight aliens or whatever the case may be. You know, like, it would be bad. Well, imagine if this virus was, like, uh, almost airborne. You know? Oh, I know. That would be even Then we'd be totally fucked, you know? Just, I think it would be a lot worse, honestly. Uh, Mortality rate would be a lot higher. The number of infected would just triple. Yeah. You see everybody in big hazmat suits everywhere when you go to the store. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Then, then it'd be a real, real crazy. I definitely hey. would buy the snorkeling mask that just covers your whole face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just living in a bubble oh, already. Yeah, yeah, honestly, we would just all live in air bubbles. Yeah. Like that movie. Yeah. yeah. Well, and be like bubble girl. Right? Bubble, bubble boy. <laughs> Last week, they had just recommended that people wear masks when they leave you know, when they're out in public now in Hawaii. So everyone's wearing, oh. I think two others, two other uh, mayors actually enacted that people wear a mask on the way out. Did you so, guys, did you watch yeah. like the White House press conference about how President Trump oh, was mask. saying, oh, we, we think it's optional if you want to wear a mask, but I'm not going to wear a mask. Who's that? Uh, Trump? That was, that was President Trump. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. our leader. Yeah. yeah. Fearless leader. No, but it's yeah. great. Uh, I went to Foodland and tomorrow's the other day to grab uh, some essential supplies. Yeah. And all the workers there had masks on. People that were yeah. shopping around had masks on. And yeah. it's crazy just to see, like, that's the world that we're starting to live in now. <laughs> it's, everyone's just wearing it, you know? Yeah. Everyone's going to get a germaphobe at the end. <laughs> I know. But then you have people. It's like, okay, you, you need it's to pretty- know how to wear these things. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. It's not where you wear 
you know, a mask and gloves. And then you start touching other things. Then you start touching yourself. I mean, yeah. what is the logic in that? You're yeah. still going to get the germs if you're touching yourself. Right. Because I see people, they're like touching everything. They're touching everything in the market, you know, grabbing everything. And then they're grabbing stuff that's going to be touching their face. Yeah. And I mean, plus people are still not washing their hands, honestly. Yeah. I wash my hands every time I can. Yeah. I carry those little sanitizer things everywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, those are, those are in hot yeah, demand. Them. I don't even know if they're around. I try looking around for some. Nobody has oh, them. What I know people are doing is they're buying like the big jug. And if you mm-hmm. at least have one of those small ones, you could just keep refilling it. Yeah. Nice. At least, yeah. you know, if you can't oh. find the small ones. Yeah. But going back to like us talking about the streaming stuff. So uh, like I was saying earlier, there's this new app that just came out called Quibi. Mm-hmm. Have you guys heard of it? Yeah, I've seen the commercials. I've seen the commercials. I haven't, I haven't well, downloaded it, though. Because I think now, you know, like what we were talking about earlier, now is the time like people are just trying to come up with new ideas for things. I mean, we have the time to do it now, right? Yeah. So with this new app, basically their selling point is it's going to be 10 minute or less like segments. So every show or like anything that you watch on the app will only be 10 minutes or less. But their content are going to have like a lot of like mainstream actors too. Um, okay. That, like Chris, uh, Chris Hemsworth is going to be in a few. Um, Man, I feel like we're, we're being sponsored by him. We're talking about it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just new. It just came up <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like sponsor us, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but it's a neat idea. You know, it's not like Netflix or Hulu or yeah. Disney plus, you know, like the whole thing is like done. it's like short burst like content you know and it's going to have two different pricing points so eight dollars for the month and that's without uh ads and then five dollars a month with ads wow. um the only thing about it is uh it's only on your mobile phones so it's not on tvs or anything like that it's just all on your phone mm. oh, okay um, well, but for people that are listening, if you guys need more information about it, we will be writing an article on it on our MetaHuman website. So stay tuned for that. Nice. But I thought it was pretty interesting. Like Carrie was saying, I saw the the ad this morning on YouTube, and I was like, okay, I mean that's pretty cool, I guess. I mean, they must have money because I've been seeing their ads on TV. Wow. Yeah, and it's like there's a lot of them. So I don't know how they got this money because they just came out like out of nowhere. Well, yeah. They're probably like, oh, pandemic, perfect time. I know. I wonder if it's like a Zoom thing where they've like been around forever and then it's only recently now that they became relevant and they're just like spreading the word everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's good. I think just like Zoom. I think this is like the perfect platform for cartoons like Quincy likes to watch. Like, what's that one that you always talk about? Steven Steve Universe. Universe. Steve yeah, He's you know, all, every episode is like 10 minutes. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like, I think it's a good platform for people to like, if they have like short stories mm-hmm. or like mm-hmm. short cartoons and you oh, want yeah. to do like multiple seasons of it. It'd be pretty interesting. Is it? Is it created by China? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. I don't want another. I don't want to download it like a TikTok kind of thing where the Chinese government knows all my dirty secrets. Oh, no. speaking of TikTok, did you guys hear like about the stuff that what was going on with TikTok as far as like it's sending out people's information who use it? Did you know it saves every all the information on your phone and yeah. then they can see it? Yeah. 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 You agree it, to it? So, it's so bad that. Even the government is issuing all their workers to uninstall TikTok on their phones. That's how bad it is. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Because my friend, she works for the DoD over here, and like when when TikTok started to like become like on the rise, like they sent out an email to everyone: do not download. Oh yeah, TikTok. Yeah. I re- I think because, I saw that. Like they yeah. were saying, like don't you don't communicate anything over yeah. social media, and they yeah. name TikTok specifically. Mm-hmm. As a as one of the uh, social media platforms. Mm-hmm. What's up, everyone? It's Jeremy with MetaHuman once again. Just kind of wiggling in the middle of the podcast uh, again. I apologize if things are about to get interesting. I won't take much of your time. I just wanted to uh, just spend a few minutes just letting everyone know and just like, uh, that we do have. Um, a special going on for, on a metahumanstore.com. Uh, if you sign up for a newsletter, you will get 20% off. So, you know, uh, if you like having cool discounts and on cool stuff like anime and uh, cartoons and uh, cool technology like gaming mouses and keyboards, 
you know, give it a try. Uh, the link will be posted in the description below of the video. So, uh, you know, when you get the chance, check it out. Um, on another note, we are also doing streams on Twitch, uh, as I mentioned before. So when uh, we're about to go live, we'll, you know, we'll post a, a post to uh, on Instagram to let everyone know when we're about to go. So come join us, hang out, chill. Uh, you know, tell us that we're terrible at the video game or tell us that we're, you know, we're doing great. By the way, you know, we appreciate the feedback and we appreciate hanging out with you guys and just all, all of the, the engagements. So uh, be sure to check us out on Twitch. Uh, it's MetaHuman Ent. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, crazy. just be aware of that, everybody, because I know everybody's using it. So just I don't. Mind because it does save everything on your phone and they can see it. Yeah. And it's just like, was now Zoom is being in the light because of the whole there's, I guess, random people somehow are able to get into group meetings, like in a meeting. And, oh, then yeah, just come, really yeah. and then even the CEO, he got kind of like shit for it. And oh, yeah. it was it Elon Musk, he banned everyone from his company to use Zoom. So that oh, was wow. a huge loss for them. Dang. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I mean, everything's all about security too, right? Like, mm -hmm. what do you have access to? And is it is it because like they're like p people are able to see like the muting ID and password, or is it just like I don't know. I, I think it's more people that don't put a password on their meeting ID. Oh, they just put the meeting ID and then so it's a, it's a human error often. then. Often, yeah, but it's there's a human like error people. Then. But there's like people, especially for teachers, right? They're yeah. teaching their students over it, and then yeah. all of a sudden you have somebody coming on and then showing like pornography pictures oh my or videos. Wow. That's kind of... I didn't hear about that. You know what they say? It always takes that one person to ruin it for everybody, right? Yeah. <laughs> In this case, it's like Make thousands. It yeah. Use it for the wrong of people. Tell them to stop. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's insane, actually. So um, just uh, going on to the next topic, uh, Carrie, what were you going to talk about as far as like the Kim Kardashian stuff? Well, last week they had their season 18 premiere, which that's just crazy. 18, I mean. 18 years. When are they going to end? When they, <laughs> when they uh, There's always drama with them. It's never going to end. When they, I when know. They grow. I mean, they need the money, right? That's their money makers, <laughs> yeah. the show. But yeah. yeah, they had their season 18 premiere. And the whole thing that everyone was talking about was the whole Kim and Kourtney Kardashian fight. Oh, okay. That they had between them, I mean, it got physical. Oh, <laughs> like, damn. Yeah, but <laughs> is it all show or is it for real? For yeah, real, I don't you know. know. But the whole even script the um, reality TV show. I wonder how that. Yeah, went. I don't know. I don't Both know. Just like acting, you know. It's like okay, we don't have anything to talk about. Let's just make up some stuff. Yeah, I feel. Like, I always wonder, like, if they made drama just for the sake of the show. Like they well, specifically the oh day, yeah uh, yeah definitely day, you guys remember that yeah. show uh real world right yeah, yeah. i mean they yeah. said that they used to do that because mm -hmm. 30 days that there's just nothing going on well, that was a good show <laughs> that was a good show, <laughs> yeah. was a good show and i was like <laughs> what in like elementary i'm watching this type of show why even put so, on tv if there's no drama right like i yeah, wouldn't watch exactly. something like that watching that and then watching what Cancun spring break on MTV and here I am like a freaking like fifth sixth grader watching this yeah telling my parents I want to go to Cancun Mexico for spring yeah. break <laughs> I'd go yes. Cancun sounds fun <laughs> but yeah I have a video that you guys if you guys haven't seen it so let me screen share this Cancun how do you screen share again? Have you ever been there, Mike? Right here. No. Oh. Have you ever been there, Jeremy? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually was in Cancun for a little bit, maybe about four hours for my um it, Oh, here we you go. You guys see the video? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. <laughs> I like Am that. I sharing the Jim and Courtney fight. You need to share the audio, right? I like all these acronyms. Quick. UWTK. Okay, so this is like leading up to the fight. I just said, Mom is so used to, and then I said, Meet Courtney, me and Chloe. Do you know whenever you if we're you don't care about stuff like if she if it's a but Saturday. You act like I don't do. Sh do you know all I? You have this this narrative in your I'm mind. Not saying saying that no, you no, no. I will literally you up. You're literally. I will literally you. you up. Come here. 
You guys, my daughter's sleeping. Don't ever come at me like you that. Don't, I swear to God, I'll punch you in your face. Don't use your Billy and Billy. Billy. Stop. Okay, stop. You too. Okay, stop. <laughs> Wait, no, no. Come. Huh? True is ever. Then shut the up. Don't ever. You do it or shut the up. Okay. Ever dig your nails in me like that. How stop the hell are you? Shut the you. Up. I'm not sleeping, guys. Stop. <laughs> Okay, and then there's another one. I can watch that. I can get uh, that. Oh my god, I cannot okay. watch that. Hey, send me the link after this. Yes. Huh? <laughs> send me the full episode. I want to watch the link down. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need to stop sharing this one. And then... <clears throat> then there's like even more after that fight. It's... Okay, here we go. Oh, yes. I like how you got this all prepped. This is amazing. Is this the one, or is this the same one? No. You don't. Both of you. Okay, separate. No, no, no. You don't just stop. Never. Guys, stop it. Dig your nails in me. You guys, stop. <gasps> Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> you guys, stop it. Don't do that to each other. Are you guys okay? What on earth? One minute they're laughing, the next minute they're slapping each other. Like, what the f is happening? This is crazy. War. I can't believe this has gone this far for them to physically assault one another. It's that's so just you don't we don't treat sisters like that. Courtney, why would you slap her like that? She just did it. You she both too. did it, but no, so don't only do come that. to me. You're the only one shut here. The how do you get reaction violence? Why are you about to hit me? Are you crazy? I'm not gonna hit you, but you shut just the up. up. Don't take someone else's side. Uh, Damn. And then, so on like Twitter, when this whole thing like premiered, and yeah. then it was funny because how you, know, you saw how um, Courtney was saying to Chloe, like, don't come at me or whatever, I'm gonna, f I can fight you or something like that. And then Chloe, she tweeted out, I'm 5'10, and you know, Courtney is five on a good day, so. <laughs> no problem. We got no problem. Yeah. Oh, I gotta say. <laughs> but yeah, that's the whole fight. But apparently they did, I mean, this was all pre-recorded, oh. like, how many months ago, so. Yeah. Yeah. They're all, it's all fine yeah. with Danny. Right now. Do you know what they were fighting about? It's because Courtney, she wants to take a break from filming. She doesn't want to be part of the show, technically. Oh. She wants to more focus on, I guess, her family, her kids, mm. and all that. So I think, I mean, it. It's been brewing up since 2018. So, 18, 18, yeah. 18 seasons ago. Yeah. <laughs> Is Kylie Jenner still on there? Yep. Everyone oh. except for, I don't know, the brother. Oh, Rob. Yeah. Oh, yeah. still involved. Yeah. I know nothing yeah. of who these people are. Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why speaking I start from drama, season speaking one. Of drama, what was the one? Uh, what's that guy's name, Quincy, that you wanted to talk yeah. about? Yeah, so Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller, yeah. Uh, and this news just broke, like maybe thirty minutes ago. Uh, but Ezra Miller, I guess there's a video that um, shows him kind of choking someone um, over in uh, Rajavik, Ireland, uh, at a bar. And so I don't know. This must have been a while back too. Um, but let me. I'll, I'll I'll show you guys the video. But supposedly it's pretty vulgar. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't mm. seen it. So yeah, we'll see how this. So for goes. people that don't know who that is exactly, that's the guy that played Flash in Justice League movie, the newer yeah. Flash. The when movie. Flash, the movie was, Flash. Yeah, when you said Flash, I was thinking of the DC. Uh, the CW. The CW one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's actually the newer Flash. Yeah, the um, movie. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. I just hope that I'm sharing my sound, share computer sound. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this is the video. Um. Learn it? Did you want to fight? Is that what you do? Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Fight? It's only Learn seconds. it? Did you want to fight? Is that what you Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Looks like he's having a good time. He looks different. Yeah, I can't even tell. I I wouldn't yeah, even, I even tell. tell. That was yeah, his hair is longer. 
But um, yeah. he also plays uh, Fantastic Beast, and he plays the mm-hmm. Flash. But yeah, I mean, it looked pretty calm. I mean, I don't know why, but it's trending right now on Google, like as one of the top searches. So, mm. looks fun. Looks like he was just like. Uh, I don't know. I threw that lady to the ground too. It's like maybe he's just strong. He's the Flash. Is that like his fan or something? Um, they didn't say. They just said it was a girl at a bar, but it was daytime. I was expecting it to be nighttime and a little bit. I think I read in an article like it was like fans that were coming at him. Yeah. No. And I'm... I guess he his attitude that day was just not the right time to go and meet him. Right, and I think just things in context, right? Like the guy who's filming is like, "Whoa, bro, bro," and then you know stops stops the footage. So I don't know. Because if it, if it's truly his fan, that's like yeah. it's really bad on his part. Yeah, they said that. It's I mean, happen, yeah, um, April first at six p.m. He should be quarantined. Maybe that's April. Fools, April fourth. Fool, April first. <laughs> I know. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Wait a sec. Yeah, he just lost a civilian oh. in this chat. Yeah, Mike is like, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's like, that, it's like, oh, that, April Fool's Day? No, I'm out of that. That's, that's unacceptable. He's like, that's unacceptable. But yeah, so, I mean, maybe it was an April Fool's joke. I mean, released. It yeah, happened who on knows? The first, you know, and then, uh, you know, 6 p.m. in Ireland. Actually, funny enough is that even before this, I was looking at the map of, like, the corona infected, and it looks like those areas are kind of, like, mainly untouched, like, the places at the top a part lot of, of it. Ireland, yeah, because they practice social distancing. Probably. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> while they choke, while they choke um, people to the ground, but um, yeah. So like right now, that's trending number one on Google, and I was like, oh, this. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more dramatic. Obviously, I did not watch it before mm-hmm. we actually filmed it, so I just um, uh, I was just like, oh. This is a surprise. You're like, like oh, out of surprise. Nice. Yeah. All right. So I guess um, I'm taking over as host now. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> oh, there's my. Oh uh, no, he's back. I was like, I'm taking he's over as soon as he's back. Is back. <laughs> I'm coming back, boys. You're not taking Sorry, over. Sorry, guys. No. It's like April Fools. The, the, <laughs> the internet freaked out for a second there. Oh yeah, like, this is the April um, Fool joke. Yeah, we were just finishing no up joke. the Ezra Miller uh, video. Saying like you know how Ireland, I think it's um, uh, because of its location, uh, it doesn't seem as highly effective at highly affected as um, other places mm. for the coronavirus. So maybe that's why he was out and about. Yeah, but he's hiding. He's hiding out in his mansion in Ireland. Is he from Ireland? I don't even know. I don't know. Andrew Miller. I just well, know he was. Be surprised him. if he's not uh, not born in America. He was with Emma Watson in The Perks of Being a Wallflower. That was the first time that I saw him. Really? He was in that movie? Yeah, he was in that movie. He was the um, one of the main guys, and uh, he was the gay guy who was friends with... Um, oh, uh, okay. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I then, don't remember. Um, the All main... I remember is the ending to that movie. What, uh, what? He was just in the car, right? Wasn't he just like in the car? No, no, no. no. The ending, like the, the plot reveal. Oh, what was the plot reveal? Oh, that the the main boy, uh, he was sexually assaulted by his aunt or something. Oh, Logan Lerman. I guess I don't remember his yeah. name. Yeah, I just remember that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I don't see that coming at all. Oh, I think I saw that coming. Really? You just saw that? Like, oh yeah, this kid's obviously been uh, emotionally well, damaged. When yeah, he was I think kid. they were they were kind of uh, alluding to it because. Yeah, I mean, that. yeah, but there's like there's other things that come to mind when you when you allude to that, right? It's like it doesn't have to be. You know, sexually assaulted so, so. by by a family member, right? It could be other things. You know, yeah. maybe he was kidnapped, or well, maybe a movie, he, a movie like that is very psychological, where they say things that happened to you as a child affect you as you're an adult. Why he was a yeah. wallflower because he was, you know, sexually assaulted by. I mean, and well, he was socially distant, right? And he just idolized his auntie too. Like he liked her a lot. Yeah, but, that's why it threw me off. That's why it threw me completely off. It's like, why would you? I did. Like, why would you analyze someone that assaulted you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looked up there, so... I mean, yeah, exactly. Was, That's why it was so surprising to me. Yeah, it was warranted. But, yeah, so aside from all of that craziness, um, yeah, the, I mean, 
It was a quick seven second video, just choking her, choked her to the ground. The guy was concerned. Ireland, April first, six p.m. Done. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, oh, that's April Fool's Day. I can do whatever I want. Oh, I <laughs> Post online. Mm-hmm. And no um, one would believe it. How about you, uh, Jeremy? Animal Crossing. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't have the game because I don't have a Switch because I didn't wasn't able to get one before the quarantine took effect. Mm-hmm. Uh, so obviously I don't have a, a Animal Crossing New Horizon. But I have been like watching a lot of uh, Reddit posts. Uh, a lot of memes, really, because people are creative as hell, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Memes Actually, and that's all I go for anyway. I just look at the memes and comments. Yeah, yeah, right? The memes I don't even are look all at the main con- content anymore. I'm like, oh, you what? just read the comments. You're, I'm just here for the comments. I'm here for the yeah. comments too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, one of the ones I found the funniest was this one. Let me show my screen. So, this oh guy, gosh. I've I don't seen him. I want to see this again. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy, honestly, I've seen him a lot on Reddit for other things because uh-huh. he's actually pretty well known on the internet for, you know, painting his parts of his body to look like anime characters yeah. or video let's, game let's characters. warn the audience before you show them so oh the, yeah your, nsfw uh... guys parental <laughs> yeah. discretion is advised <laughs> parental <laughs> discretion this is pg <laughs> and, this is pg 13 and up guys just so you know <laughs> like, we edit it yeah it's like <laughs> this is gonna be all blurred all right let me just share this so <laughs> this is the one i first came across was this guy just paints like one side of his body <laughs> to make it look like one of the animal crossing guys I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> but you gotta admit that the art is really on point <laughs> yeah it is the body on the other hand <laughs> is off point yeah <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was one I came across, and I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy has a lot of free time. Well, I mean, especially in Creative. quarantine, I'm sure he has. And a- then, yeah, so that's that one. Then there's a worse one I found, uh, actually just the other day, to be honest. So this one also kept, kept popping up on Reddit a lot, and it's, uh, let me see if I can... There you go. So <laughs> it comes, this, this one user, oh I don't know God. who it is, like created a casting couch in his I don't, in his house. I put cameras oh and lights. <laughs> oh, in his Animal Crossing house. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when it first came up, it was just a couch with a camera. And <laughs> people were first confused, like, what is that? And But, I mean, obviously everyone else kind of knew what was going But on. is this for real, for real, in his house? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know. Like, how did, the, how did, he, how did he get the Pornhub? Like, well, I don't, graphic. I don't know about the the banner, but I know the couch and. Uh, yeah, like, I can lights. see that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Those are. I real. mean, I've seen like people's videos, and it's like ridiculous how they set up their house. Yeah. It's like my house. I still have the freaking um that yeah. as a bed. Some some houses are house. honestly some houses honestly are very very uh, nice looking. Like, yeah. It's crazy how they make it look like there's like name brand stuff. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Those are heavy duty lights. I mean, honestly, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, honestly, that's too funny. Wait, you have a switch though, Mike? Wait, do you play Animal Crossing? I bought it, but I mean, I just couldn't get into it. Oh, yeah, I tried. I mean, I yeah. probably put like like five hours into it, and it's like it's just not for me. That's pretty good. Mm. You need some action. But I did buy Resident Evil 3 Remake, and I oh, beat that over that. the weekend. That game is so good, but it's super short. Oh, is it? Well, it's, I mean, mo- the Resident Evil, I think even 2 is pretty short. Like, you just go through, right, the city, and then you're done. But it's like well, the mansion and the city. I would say yeah. Resident Evil 2 was maybe like 8 to 10 hours. Resident yeah. Evil 3 Remake was literally like 5 hours and that's it. Oh, and that's sure. what's trying to collect everything too. How's the, how, what about the multiplayer though? Uh, I've been playing it last night. It's actually yeah. pretty cool. The Mastermind. So yeah, so basically the Mastermind is you're a guy that sends out the zombies and creates traps. And basically you're just trying to kill the full multiplayer people trying to escape, right? So either you could be a survivor or you could be the mastermind guy. Right. Um, I played mastermind. I mean, that's not my play style. I've just been playing survivor and it's actually pretty good. Is it similar to left for dead? I used to play left for dead for hours. Um, it, it gives me more of like, um, what there's this horror game. I forget what it's called. Um, where you you have somebody trying to kill you and you're like these four people trying to escape the map. Yeah. Um, I forget the name of it. Uh, not left for dead. It's by daylight. 
That's what it's called. Oh, daylight. Yeah. Oh, that and one. Daylight. Yeah. So basically what it is, is in the new Resident Evil one, you're put on these three different maps. You play as four people trying to work together, trying to escape while somebody is just trying to like eliminate you. That's pretty much what it is. Eliminate. Hmm. But overall, it's good. I'm definitely excited for uh, Final Fantasy VII coming out on Friday, though. Oh, Wait. I know. Finally. I feel oh, like yeah, it's yeah. been forever. Oh. Oh, it's been I, ages. It's I'm been decades. I'm not going to play it, but I definitely want to watch it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting because it's three, I think it's three or four parts. So basically, wow. there's going to be individual games uh, going over each part of the okay, game. So you got to buy four parts? I think it's going to be released uh, in different parts. I think three or four, yeah. Yeah. So you got to buy them? Uh, yeah, I, think, buy them. I think you can buy them individually. Uh, I think there's well, an option to buy. Together. It's not going to be together. No, but I think, isn't there like an option where you can buy like a pack or something like that? I forget, honestly. I, I no, uh, I was reading an article today about it because everybody's reviews are coming out right now. It's going right. to be its own individual games. Oh. Yeah. So I'll basically, just... <laughs> this one that's coming out is only yeah. the first part of the game, yeah. but people are saying it's like 45 hours worth of content, and this is just yeah. the first part of the game. That yeah. used so to be I the think norm. Each part of the game that was, was yeah, that I mean, that honestly that was the norm. Whatever right. happened to yeah. just like these three, four hour games now? Like used to be like, I think Final Fantasy X took me like 80 hours or 60 hours just to do oh, everything. X, yeah, yeah. I think Kingdom Hearts, the first one, was like that long for me too about 80 hours yeah why is it so like people i think it's just harder to produce so because people are just so focused on multiplayer these days honestly yeah but i mean that's always how rpg games always been you know yeah long you know it's all about the story leveling up your character getting the best weapons finding everything Mm -hmm. you know it's not like what jeremy was saying like call of duty where you just pick up and play you know yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, secret bosses those are fun yeah But no, I'm totally excited for it. Yeah, Friday. Friday's the big day. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, this is has been Meta Human Talk or Meta Talks podcast uh, with Mike, Carrie, and Jeremy. Uh, join us next week. We're gonna talk about everything from quarantine to video games and movies and TV shows. So and see you guys Animal next Crossing. week.